ethnic capitalism i think we have the largest in the two thousand and nine was the most money that lobbyists have received since we started keeping records is that right well that's right barack obama campaigned heavily about uh, against lobbyists saying was going to get them out of washington we heard the same thing from john mccain uh, but lobbyists uh, raked in some three billion seven hundred and forty six million dollars uh, in Washington uh, in the past year. That's an all-time record. It's up from previous years. Uh, and the fact is that when the government is, is sending huge amounts of money to favored firms, uh, ladling out money from the Treasury and spending uh, vast new sums of money when it's regulating the health care and energy sectors through the health care bills and cap-and-trade bills, uh, lobbying is uh, corporate lobbying is going to be there, and uh, people who uh, are the heads of major companies are going to be seeking the favor uh, and favors from the administration. Oh, well, Michael, lobbying is not new. So what's different uh, this time around? Well, what's different is that we've got the uh, the government involved in a kind of crony capitalism to an extent that we haven't really seen since. Uh, arguably since World War II when the government was giving out huge defense contracts. We had the excuse then there was a war on total war and the uh, government had to make some decisions and for the most part Franklin Roosevelt's government made pretty good decisions. Uh, right now we've got the spectacle of the government and uh, the P Democrats political allies, the United Auto Workers owning General Motors and Chrysler and we've got the government to telling people to stop driving Toyotas. Uh, we've got the government backing Philip Morris's plan for tobacco regulation, the, by far the biggest company there. Uh, we've got the government getting the uh, health care industry lobbyists in the room in the White House to hammer out uh, health care bills and to get agreements as they did from uh, Billy Towsan, the head of right. pharma, uh, Mike, to we, spend $80 million on uh, ads. We're going to run out of time here, sir. Just, just tell us who the strongest lobby is. Uh, who's the strongest lobby today? I think the strongest lobby is the people that President Obama praised, uh, Lloyd Blankfein of, uh, of, uh, of Goldman Sachs and J Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan Taste. They are savvy businessmen, the President said. He does not begrudge them their $17 million and $9 million bonuses from last year. All right, there it is, Michael Barone, Washington Examiner, political analyst. Thank you very much.